Hello traders and welcome to my third candlestick trading video. So again today we're going to be looking at candlesticks and their formation and guess which way we think the price will go. So again we're going to look at the normal cheat sheet that we usually do before we start and I'm also going to show you guys a second cheat sheet that I found that uh, is very simple and also is very effective. So here's the regular cheat sheet. Take a look at this and pause the video. Now for the second cheat sheet we have this one which ranks the most bullish candle to the least bullish candle and the most bearish candle to the least bull bearish candle. And we also have three candlesticks that depend on the context of the trend. These can be either bullish or bearish. Okay, now that you've recognized some of those, we're gonna get started. We can see the price went up, formed a tweezer top here as they shared the same high, and then moved down here. So if I was to ask you if this is bullish or bearish, what would you say? I'll give you guys five seconds. So I would say this is quite bullish and here's why. The first candle we see here is a spinning top. If we look here, a spinning top can be either bullish or bearish based on the same formation. But if you see this spinning top formation, as you can see right here, after a downtrend, it usually means price will go up. And if you see this formation after an uptrend, it usually means the price will go down. So the first thing we see is a bullish spinning top. The second thing we see is a hammer. If you guessed it, you would be right. And then the third candlestick is the cross between a hammer and just a continuation of the trend. We can see that price moved quite rapidly. And now we have another signal here. So with these, again, I want you guys to guess if you were in a position, would you add more to your position or would you sell and get out of this position? I'll give you guys five seconds. Okay, so after price goes up with strong bullish momentum, retraces a bit, goes up again, and then we get this. And these two candlesticks might look bearish, but to me, they're actually quite bullish. If we look here, the least bearish candle is a candle that goes down with a low tail and then closes around its high. We had two of these candles in a row, as you can see here. And the second one closed even higher. And this means that price will likely be quite bullish. And then once we see this right here, this bullish engulfing candle, we can confirm that price will very likely go upward, as you can see there. Now again, if you were still in this trade and had added more here, and we're at this spot, would you buy or sell this formation? I'll give you guys five seconds to guess it and then guess which direction you think price will head. So if you said that this was a bearish engulfing candle, you would be correct. Yes, there was a hammer here, a bullish hammer, but this had happened after a long uptrend and also we see that the candle after it engulfs the candle before it completely, even the lowest part of the tail, as you can see right here. And also on our other cheat sheet, we know that the most bearish signal is an engulfing candle that has uh, not much of a higher tail or a lower, lower tail. And this candle did have a lower tail, which makes it a little less strong, but still this is a very strong candle for bearish momentum. And we can see that price moved downward. And you would have been best off just getting out right here. As you can see over here, we have another signal. And I'm gonna ask you guys the same question based on the information I've given you. Would you buy in this spot or would you just stay out of the market? I'll give you guys 10 seconds. Okay, time's up. So the first thing we see here is a bullish pin bar. And we've seen this many times before. And the last time we saw this formation exactly, way back there, we had seen that price had moved upward. So that's already a bullish signal. We had seen these dojis that didn't have much price movement, but price was not actually going that much lower. And then finally, we had a bullish engulfing candle that engulfed this whole structure before it. Now this would be quite bullish as we can see, because we had one of these candles, one of these candles, and two of these candles. 
as you can see here, just about. And if you add all this together, we can infer the price is quite likely to move upward. So that's gonna be it today for our candlestick formation video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.